Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to the Shadows of Rose DLC for Resident Evil Village. Now, Evelyn has shown up to make things a pain in the ass, and Michael, who we're assuming is the ghost of Ethan, has decided, has helped us. And now we have to take her down. So is this like... Never! Never! Damn it! I thought I got her this way. Okay. I have been such a good girl. God damn it. I'm trying to do that to you. We were supposed to be a family. How am I supposed to fucking do the thing? Completely obsessed with stupid old Rose. Okay. I'm not doing this right, or something. You've never been bored, back. <laughs> what opening? Oh, that's what you mean. She's not done, be careful. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize what I was doing, so I'm gonna restart this fight because now I know what I'm doing and I can actually do it right. Okay. Never! Never! I have been such a good girl! Okay, so she only tires out if she misses. Die! We were supposed to be a family! You feel completely obsessed with stupid old Rose! No. Die here! Oh shit! Oh shit, 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 shit. I need to get out of the stuff. No, god damn it. I didn't get enough chance, enough time to get out of the stuff. If you'd never been born, it would have been perfect. When they died, we were supposed to be a family. She's talking about Ethan and Mia. Die here! I see that. Oh shit. If you'd never been born, it would have been perfect! Go away! Oh, I see. Upstairs now, huh? This is stupid! Ouch. Fucker. Oh. God damn it. Coming for you, crazy girl. I was. You're worthless! Nothing! A, a freak with no friends! You have me. <laughs> Fuck. Over here. You're worthless! Keep focusing, I'll help. I got you. We got you, Evelyn. You crazy old kookaburra. I can't believe how useless I am. No wonder no one loves me. You almost feel bad for her, now. knowing everything we know from Seven. This is all your fault. But she can't help herself with her rage. And I will never let you have what you want! Rose, look out! Uh. Who was that? That was Ethan. It was Ethan! Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. 
I knew it. Our guardian angel this whole time, that Michael, it was Ethan. It was Ethan's consciousness. When he blew up the village at the end of Resident Evil Village, his consciousness merged with the Megamycete. Because Chris and his goons were able to it, it, it ex excavate some of the Megamycete from the location, so not all of it blew up. Some of it survived. Michael? Clearly. Otherwise, they wouldn't have it sitting on a jar, in a jar in a lab. Rose, look out! Then we wouldn't be here in the first place. He... He saved me. But he that was your daddy-o. That voice. My dad's voice. Yup, I was right. Is Michael... My dad? Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. And we will. We've got to be damn near there. I have to find that crystal. All right. Ooh, I got my weapons back. I'm on Good. my own, but I have to keep going. I got my weapons back because I'm not in crazy La La Land anymore. Alright. That's the door from the castle. What's all this doing out here? Did the castle blow up? You're giving me lots of handgun ammo. I'm being prepped for something. Is this a boss hallway? Are we up coming up on the end? Oh. Where the hell am I? What is this place? What the crazy crap. Huh. A lot of orby glorbs coming down from the sky. Just oozing ickiness. Head for the giant core, why not? Through this village of doom. And there's a, another rose. What? Yeah, what? What indeed? What the tomfoolery? White sage, first aid med. They're all just like in the castle. The hell was that? <laughs> oh. Okay. along now. I know I have plenty of ammo. Let's just do this. They're coming from in there. Shoot these things. Now I have to. They get nice and close, don't they? Understand. 
go down then. Ouch. Ooh, what's this? Is it the heart of the problem? Because it looks like a giant heart, Is I guess. Is this oh. where those copies of me came from? That's fucked up. Alright, let's find out. Whee! Crunch. Okay. And a save thing. The Megamycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern the world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. The memories that compromise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the Mutamycete in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived, I have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, uh, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Hmm... Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement, with so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. Someone's been here. Is it Miranda? Is Miranda part of the Mega My Seat now? Since we killed her, she just merged with it. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk would never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive, some other actor within this realm, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm, where she can... Where she, were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded yet another interesting wrinkle to, pr to pursue. When, sub when subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just one to perform this stress test. Is just the one to perform the stress test. Okay. They couldn't have been watching me. So whoever's in here doing this... Oh, I'm out of shotgun ammo? Hold on. There we go. That'll fix that. Handgun ammo? Two? Really? Uh, maybe I should use something in my inventory, huh? Okay. Okay, so whoever was in here doing these experiments, making these rose copies, also created that copy of the Duke, the merchant from the main game, in order to be a villain in this area. Okay, so that wasn't actually him, it was just a copy of him that was created in this hive mind. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dis dispossessed of her will to live and her minimiseat powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Okay, so this has all been happening while she's been here. 
I think if I, yeah. Wait, I, oh, because I didn't save the changes. There. Now the changes have been saved and we are good to go. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close. I was so close. I'm almost there. Michael. So Ethan tried to get reach the crystal. Oh yeah, this is a boss hallway if I've ever seen here. one. What is this? What's over here? Probably don't want to step in whatever this is. Okay, well that's an interesting looking whatever. Black God, which lives in us and which we and in which we live, create for us a new world, as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyless joy joy joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy but to preserve and once again deliver unto life. So they Some twisted shit. Yeah, they worship the Megamyce. It's fucked up. But they basically live inside of it, so what are they supposed to do? This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. Yeah, we've been tricked before. <sighs> this came way too easy. There's a, there's a catch. There's gonna be a final boss battle. There has to be. I guess that is the real one. Oh, but you're about to lose your powers right before a final it's boss working. battle. Okay, but now how do we get out of here? That's the real question. Oh my god. Is this what normal feels like? <laughs> It's Miranda, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it! It's Miranda. Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No. It was a trap. But Kay said. Did he? Or did I? That was an illusion. Oops. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? So she pulled the same trick twice. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! Eva, the other the other side of uh, Rose, run! Evelyn. Hey, it's Ethan! And they're staying true to not showing his face. Uh, Ethan, you pest! Go! Uh, so he can manifest. He can save you, Rose! Hurry! You can't escape! Not from me! Cool, so we're having a little father-daughter time. Of monster fighting and running. Is it really you? Yes, but right now you need to run! Run! They're still not gonna show his face, though. They're gonna go out of their way to make sure we can't see it. Rose! 
see. Oh, they're getting close to showing it though. Thanks. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? I didn't want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! Oh no. <laughs> Away from my daughter! Stay away from my family! Rose, come on! No choice. You can't escape Rose. Ethan! Persistent as always! Dad! Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! Yeah, Ethan's already dead. He can't leave the Mega My seat. I love you, but I need to know you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. Nope, she's gonna fight, right? Oh no. This entire journey was for nothing. The whole point of you coming here was to get rid of your powers. But of course it was a trap laid by Miranda. I've got this. You think your powers would allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Foolish. Look how intent you were on my throwing them away. I think they just liked. <laughs> Don't resist. Am I even? Ouch. Doing anything? Do you understand what you're doing? And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You can't save your father. You are of two different worlds. There's no shields. Ha, bitch. I won't let you do this! <sighs> It took so much to lure you, but you're incredible. Well, you might change your mind when I put an end to your plan. No, <laughs> you will fall. world within the Mega My Seat to resurrect you, sweet. But no matter how many vessels they are used, yeah. none have the power to reach right. That is why it must be you. Okay, I need to use more white Are the only one who can bring her back to me. Whatever it takes, gotcha. whatever I must do, I will Not impossible, just improbable. But I did it anyway, didn't I? Do you still not see me? There, there is no happy ending. Says the wicked witch at the end of her reign. Yeah, bitch. Uh. Uh. Ah, ew. 
You will never be normal. Only I understand how special you are. You just won't give up. You really are. That stubborn light, it shines in sound, makes you the perfect best. Come! Be by my side! My power now! Okay, yeah. No! Oh, fuck, I got hit. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Let's see you talk to What is this? <laughs> Damn, how many times do I gotta do this? <laughs> uh oh, it got dark. There is no victory. Oh shit. Okay, that was rough. Whatever the hell just happened. Over here. Hey, Ethan! Welcome back to the fray. Use this. Take her down. What is it, some kind of ultimate weapon? Is it a rocket launcher? Not in this game, it won't be. Oh, I will. Return and yield your strength to me! So much power! You truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva! I'm not a goddamn vessel. I'm not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. And you're done. That's right. Bye bye, Miranda. For real this time. Hopefully. Hey, sweetie. They are kind of showing his face, just not fully. You're, you're so grown up now. And, and even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. You know, in the Resident Evil 7, he didn't even actually have a head. I'm so sorry, I couldn't protect you. They built his character model with no head since the game's in All first person. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice, and I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> but I still don't think Ethan can't leave the Mega My Seat because he destroyed his physical body. So it's Only okay. his consciousness remains. You're gonna have to leave him behind, Rose. I'm sorry. I'm so very proud of you. I love you, Rose. I love you too, Dad. I'm back. You're back. Everybody's, we're, you're safe. Everything's cool now. But you still have your powers. I'm back. 
I wonder if she'll be a character in future Resident Evil games then, since she has powers and experience. Oh, <laughs> Ethan gave her that ring. Something to remember him Dad. by. A souvenir. Show it to your mom. Watch her freak out. <laughs> so what has Chris Redfield been doing this whole time? Him and his wolf boys. <laughs> Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like it. I don't think it does, <laughs> but Ah, uh, visiting Ethan's grave. Wait, is this is this bringing it all full circle? Is this where the post-credit scene was at the end of the main game, or is this her visiting his grave again at a different time? Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry, I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, this is the same. This is the goddamn devil. This is the ending. This is the post credit scene Nicole's. from the main game. I love you. Oh, right, because in the beginning of this, she told Kay that she had no interest in joining Chris's little wolf pack group. Yeah, I found her. But I think this is... Where else? This is meant to indicate that she did join it, after okay. all. We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, I remember. It's just a joke, Rose. I remember. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Yeah, this is the exact... This is the exact post credit scene from the main game. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. Right, so that makes a lot more sense now. Because she wouldn't have known her father originally, but now we know that this scene that we saw at the end of the original game actually takes place after the DLC. Right. And they're doubling down on the whole, like, model of Ethan walking down the road along the way or something, right? What is that? Who's that that they're stopping for at the end there? That's not Ethan. It wouldn't make sense if it was Ethan. Who is that? They stopped for somebody. Who was it? Okay. I have a feeling that we're going to see Rose again at some point in the Resident Evil franchise. Now, I, this definitely ties a bow on the Ethan Winters story, for sure. But Rose is working for Chris's little wolf pack group or whatever they're called right now. Wolfhounds or whatever. So... I feel like that's going to come into play in a later game somehow. I think we're, we're not done yet. We're going to play as Chris, or we're going to play as Rose again or something. Maybe there'll be a game where we play as Chris and Rose. That would be cool. But anyways, that's it for this DLC. Um, is there a post credit scene? No. No, I think that's it. We beat it in three hours. Okay, well, that was it for the DLC. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about the whole thing in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.